Today we're not going to look at some finicky thin and light machine, that claims it can handle your heavy workloads but ends up crying on the couch after the first CAD render. No. With us, we have the ThinkPad P15 Generation 2. It is no lie that it is quite clunky. It has a profile thickness of 24.5 to 31.45 mm and weighs 2.87 kilos. Needless to say, this results in a pretty tough machine which by the way is made out of plastic and glass fiber composite. The keyboard is a backlit, spill-resistant device, with six rows, super long key travel, and clicky feedback. Yeah, ThinkPad keyboards never disappoint. On the left side, you have an HDMI 2.1 connector, a USB Type A 3.2 Generation 1 port, a SIM card tray, and an A-Audio jack. Then, on the right, there is an SD card reader, USB Type A 3.2 Generation 1 port and a Kensington security slot. Finally, the back side houses, a 2.5 gigabits per second RJ45 connector, the power plug, two Thunderbolt 4 connectors, and a USB Type C 3.2 Generation 2 port. This is not your ordinary device. Upgrades here are made easy. On the bottom panel you will find a service lid which easily reveals two SODOM ports for memory expansion, and two M.2 slots for storage. But that's not all, this laptop supports up to 128GB of DDR4 RAM, and has a third M.2 slot. Check out our disassembly video to see all the surprises. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. ThinkPad P15 Generation 2 can be ordered with full HD or 4K IPS screen, plus there's a 4K old option. Since the latter costs an arm and a leg, we got the 1080p IPS one, which has excellent viewing angles, a great maximum brightness of 533 nits, and a very good contrast ratio of 1340 to 1. It also covers 91% of the sRGB color gamut. The color accuracy at factory condition isn't that good, but we managed to lower the Delta E to an excellent level of 1.4 with our design and gaming profile. As expected from a high-end machine, the screen doesn't use PWM across all brightness levels, so your eyes will be safe. There's a huge 94 watt hours battery inside the P15 Generation 2 and it's powerful enough to last 12 hours of web browsing or 10 hours and a half of video playback. This notebook can be ordered with up to Xeon W11 955M CPU, and up to 90 watt RTX A5000 GPU. These are professional grade components so if you want to play games, you better look elsewhere. We've got the i7-11850H model and you can easily see Lenovo's strategy in our temperature tests, the performance is prioritized, the temperatures are neglected. In conclusion, we can say that Lenovo has thrown away everything about looks and focused on performance and versatility. This is a real desktop alternative, as it supports up to 128GB of RAM, 6TB of SSD, and even the graphics card could be upgraded. We have a lot more tests for you so if you're interested in this laptop, check out our detailed review, the link is in the description below.